Hi everyone, it's Rock from Rock Plays, and today we are doing another video. Now today I have a special treat for you guys. It's actually Avengers Endgame today that we are um, doing. Well, multiple toys, you know. I hope you guys really enjoy this video. I actually found a lot of good stuff. And, uh, you know, I just hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so we're going to start off. Here's what we're going to start off with. Now, I actually have a lot of different things to show you guys. Actually, hang on. There. Okay, so I'm going to start off with showing you guys the Build-A-Figure. Oops. Don't worry, I got it. Now, if you guys didn't know, the um, uh, a Big Bad Toy Store, or probably Enter Entertainment Earth, or other places, you can actually find... Uh, you can actually find some um, this build a figure that's based off of Avengers Endgame, the Avengers Endgame movie. So here it is. Here's the first figure. The first figure is Hercules, which is not in the movie, but he looks like a Marvel hero. Hang on, let me just put this down here, or let me put it on here for a second. Actually, no, let me put it down here. This is Hercules, um, if you guys want to see the back, the back actually has the Thanos on it, it's another Thanos, as you guys probably know, it, the Infinity War build figure also had a Thanos, and this one's basically Thanos with his armor, he still is holding the Infinity Gauntlet, as you can see, and he has his weapon, like you like from the Thanos in the trailers. I also did see Avengers Endgame, like I saw on Thursday night, I'm not going to spoil anything, but it's an amazing movie, and you basically have to watch Avengers Infinity War to know what's going on. Don't have spoilers, spoil it, I'm not going to spoil Okay, so let's actually open up uh, this guy right now. He comes with Thanos' head. Thanos looks very angry as usual. He's always angry. Also, guys, I want to remind you guys, like, again, you know, it's not just a builder figure like Captain Marvel or Broly. Uh, or, like, some of the other guys, like Lobo and the Kingpin. It's actually, like, a whole lot multiple toys of Avengers Endgame. Well, some of the toys, at least. Here he is. Okay, so here's Hercules. Like I say, he's not in the movie. I don't know why they do characters not in the, that are not actually in the movie. It's probably just because they want to. I don't really know much about Hercules. My dad or owns every Marvel and DC comic, so I guess, you know... If you guys, if you guys ever wanted to do a and a with him, you can ask. He's pretty cool. Here, here are his weapons. This is a... I have no idea what this is. An axe, maybe? This is a sword. <laughs> Sorry, that was like a sword sound. Um, I don't know. Uh, he also does come with two different hands. And obviously the head, Thanos. His hands are fists currently. Let's put out the Thanos head. Actually, let's do that later. Let's uh, let's keep... I don't want to lose anything because I have a lot of stuff to show. Let's do the next figure. But again, like, you know, you... I mean, actually, wait a second. If you guys look on the back, he actually holds the weapon. So you don't have to, like... Get a bag or something to hold them in. Come on. Here's the first thing. Here's the second thing. Looks like, see this? It's supposed to go in, sort of. So I guess I just have to hold on to that for now. Actually, wait, let's, let's do this one that's actually in the movie. Because, like, yeah, um, Hercules isn't, like, the only character in this little figure that's not in the movie. It's like, I think there's probably one or two more people. Here's one that's, that, here's a figure that's actually in the movie. Um, as we all saw from trailers, this is Ronin, a.k.a. also known as Hawkeye. Um, I like this one. It looks really interesting. All right. Um, I like Hercules, too, but I think Ronin's one of my favorite sets in this figure. Also, by the way, one of these figures doesn't come with a piece. He'll be the last one we do, like the Spider-Man one. So, yeah. Um... What do you think, though? This is Ronin. He's pretty... In uh, he looks pretty interesting. I mean, he looks like a ninja instead of his usual guy with glasses and bow and arrow. Oh, he also, by the way, he doesn't have bow and arrows. He actually has, like, swords. And also, by the way, he has a very interesting hand in this. If you take a look, it looks like a hand throwing ninja stars. I think that's one of the first times they ever did that type of figure in a builder figure. Now, this one also comes with an arm, too. It comes with the, um... Armed with the Infinity Gauntlet, obviously with all six Infinity Stones, like last time, so. We're excited, I'm ex so, this guy, well, they're all very important, even the one that's without the Builder figure. The piece. Also, guys, I encourage you to get the one without the piece, because I think you would really love to have that one.
So here it is. What do you think? It's Ronin. He looks cool, right? Um, here's like a space for a sword. These are both his hands. Is it? Um, oh, what's like that? It sort of comes off, goes back on. That's interesting to know. He doesn't have like a replaceable head or anything, but I like him. I mean, I know you can get him for like three inch, but why? Why you get? Why not get him in six inch? But his hood does come off. I mean, his mask doesn't come off, but his hood does. So he's running with his sword. What do you guys think? I like it personally. Um, I think it looks really interesting. Here's his other sword. Um, that looks interesting too. He has another hand that involves throwing stars. And yeah. Here's the next figure we're doing. This figure is actually of Nighthawk. Yay. <laughs> um, I'll admit Nighthawk looks pretty interesting. Um... Nighthawk, as I said, you know, he's not, he's not from the movie, he's, I think he's from the cartoon show in the comics. Um, he's actually, this is, he's, this guy's leader of, I think what was called the Squadron Supreme, uh, which is basically like a, they're, they're supposed to be based off of the DC Justice League, but they're like Marvel villains, the Avengers fight. Nighthawk's supposed to be based off of Batman, uh, they only, they only made three of the figures, and there's like f five of them on the team. Uh, they made, uh, like Hyperion for a while, then they had Speed Demon and Absorbing Man, both the figure I had like a, a year ago. Um, and now they have this one. I'm glad they're releasing more of them. This one comes with Thanos' other hand plus weapon, if you guys didn't know. And he looks pretty interesting. Okay, so Nighthawk looks cool. If you look on the back, it actually looks like his head is super tiny. Look. Like, seriously. So, um, yeah. I'll admit. I like him. Oh, he also has little parts here sort of on his arms. I don't know why. He also has little claws, too. I never saw that before. Nighthawk didn't seem to be that bad of an option. I'm not saying any of them were a bad option. I'm just saying, like, you know... Here they are, though. Uh, or here he is, sorry. Um, his cape sort of comes off a little, like you can see a little bit of the back. He has cool, he has claws. That cracking his house, his arms, by the way. See? I don't know why they do that, really. That was, like, another boy figure, I think. But, never mind. Um, I like him. Like, he, he has really good design. He's painted on really good, especially, like, his chest logo. Uh, there's not really much to say about him. I just think he looks cool. He 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 always he, like Batman. He talks in a dark voice. He doesn't have like a thing where he talks like those little giant figures. It's just like a simple figure. But yeah, you know, I mean, if you're a fan of Nighthawk or the Squadron Supreme, and you've been collecting the toys like Hyperion and Speed Demon, you should definitely get him. Obviously, like I said, he comes with the other hand and weapon. Obviously, like I said, let's go put these here right now. Then open them all up separately and put them together. Oh, I can't wait to see what the else is gonna look like when we're done. Okay, so, uh, next few are pretty, so there's only, there's four figures left, technically three, but you know the last one, um, here's one, okay, so I also got this guy, actually, wait, let's not, let's not do him, okay, so this one you guys are gonna like, um, if you guys know, in, you know, in Avengers Infinity War, there was a vil there were villains called the Black Order, also, like, it's the guy with Disney XD Avengers show, um, maybe even the comics, I don't really read the comics, because I just watch, like, the shows and the movies, so, um, this looks pretty interesting, uh, uh, or th this fig, if you didn't know, like, last year, there were two Avengers Infinity War build of figures, the first one was Thanos, and it came with the, uh, Black Order, Black Order girl, Proxima Midnight, the second one was actually of the Black Order monster, and it was called Sidian. Uh, and the third one is right here, Ebony Maw. I'm hoping they're going to make Korlax in the next one. That's what my dad said, like, the next in Endgame build a figure line, if they have a next Endgame build a figure line. They had two for Infinity War, so I'm guessing they should have another one for Endgame. Um, is Ebony Maw. I like Ebony Maw. Like, he's, uh, he's probably one of the strongest, because, you know, he has, like, telepathic powers. I know he died, he was, like, the first to die in Infinity War, but I thought it was pretty cool. He comes with Thanos' leg, I think. I don't know what leg it is. 
we, this guy's this guy was definitely excited for. Him. So here he is. Um, here's that many mile. Whoa, his hands kind of like crazy. I'm moving in ways that probably shouldn't. The human body won't move. This is weird. What do you think though? He looks uh definitely like an alien. I remember his voice. He's like people rejoice. Thanos has come. Like the black horse looks like children at Thanos, sort of like, you know. He looks really interesting though. He moves in ways I didn't know he could move. Not in a bad way, but like a good way. He looks really. I mean, his articulation's easy to control, and like he poses and stuff, like all the figures. I like him anymore though. He they did great designs on him, especially his face. Look at his face. It's really old and wrinkly. I don't, I don't know how old he is. He must be like a thousand years old or something. But I like him. He looks very interesting. He played a great role in Infinity War along with the rest of the Black Order. Also interesting how he died, really. But yeah, I mean, what do you think? Looks very interesting. I like him. I encourage you guys to get this Blur figure too if you guys like love Endgame and want to get the figures. Like I said, you know, this, these might be like the most uh, interesting figures I've been doing. Uh, the Blur figures, so I want to do them first. Okay, so only a couple figures left. There's three, kind of like you know the not got the not um build a figure guy, but otherwise they all look really interesting. I like them all. Hang on. Also, guys, just want to let you guys know I did make a bending ink machine video that only got nine views currently, so you guys should, should you guys should check that one out too if you haven't already. If you haven't, thank you. Um, here here's his leg. It's a leg. Yeah. Um, oop, 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 don't worry. Also, guys, you should definitely look to see Endgame. I'm not going to spoil by spoil it or anything, but I'm going to say it's absolutely awesome. Okay, so, um, the next figure we should do is, so the last two are actually not, again, like, actually, like, not from, um, the movie, like, ev or not from, like, the movies, like, every hour Ronin. I miss you, like, or, or, like, not duplicates, really, because, like, these two, I don't think I've ever come out actually looking for. So, the first one we're gonna do is, um, let's do this guy. I was gonna do this guy before, but I decided to do the other one. This guy's called Citizen B. Uh, I think he was also from, like, one of the Avengers Disney XD shows or something. And also, like, from the comics, um, I, uh, I remember, I know these guys. These guys are, this guy's actually, I think, it says right here in his description, it says he's Baron Zemo. But of course, like, if you guys didn't know, it was like a team called the Masters of Evil, which combined a whole bunch of villains. Like, it was Screaming Mimi, Baron Zemo, the leader. It was also Beetle from the Spider Man villain, and some other people. And they pretend to be heroes called the Thunderbolts. And this guy's the leader. This guy's Baron Zemo. Like, right here, it says Baron Helmut Zemo adopts the Elias Citizen. I think it says Elias. A L I A S. Citizen B and leads the heroic Thunderbolts into battle against various villains. He looks really interesting. Definitely is like, I guess, sort of a... I guess you could say he's a knockoff of Captain America. I don't really think he is really much. But he looks really interesting. Like, he has the shield and stuff. He's blue, red, and white, like the American flag. He comes with Thanos' other leg. I like him. Like, look right here. This guy looks a little scary if you think about it. Like, the little face right here. I'm surprised you can even see through the mask. Like, you see little eye holes here or something. But, I don't know if that's supposed to happen. The little figure is Thanos. But I hope you guys um really like this. Here he is, Citizen B. I mean, like Nighthawk. He sort of reminds me of Nighthawk a little bit, but he's I mean. I think there might have something in common with both of them. I don't really think so. So it's kind of stuck in there. So is his arm and his whole entire case. There. Sorry for the noise, but like, I probably have to open them up. So here it is. What do you think? Also, by the way, his hand sword is stuck on the sword or something. You can take it off and let it go. I'm, I'm not really going to do that because I like him to hold the weapon. Sorry, I'm like, I don't know. I really don't know what I'm doing. Weird hand movement again. 
Um, so, but yeah, what do you think? It, uh, I like him. He definitely has a lot of design. I can, I have no idea how he sees through the mask, or if he just hears voices and stuff. You know, with his ears, but he has like, he has like little eye holes. I don't know if like he can see through the mask or not. I mean, <coughs> just like a figure, so I don't really know. I like his cape, like especially like with the half American si flag on each side, so I can sort of see here, like, yeah. The sword's pretty cool, too, it's like an old time sword, sort of. Um, but yeah, he definitely is really cool. I like him in the show, like in the shows. Again, I don't, I don't know if he was in the comics or not. I'm assuming he was, but yeah. But what do you guys think? I like him. Okay, so um, time for the next guy. Now, the next guy is going to be the last guy from the Build-A-Figure. Then we're going to do the one with that. Well, technically, he's the second to the last guy. He's not really the last guy, but I mean, like, the last one with a containing piece. Sorry, it's, I'm kind of stacking them up. I'm worried they might fall. I know it's, gonna, it's kind of a bad idea, but hey, I don't really know. It might be, it might not be. Who knows? No. Oh, no, no, no. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. It fell. Don't worry about it. I'll pick it up afterwards. Um, here's... Don't worry about it. I'm not disappointed or anything. Um, here's this guy who is called Living Laser. I actually have no idea who this guy really is. He looks interesting. Like, he reminds me of like an Iron Man villain. It says right here, Driven mad by jealousy, the brilliant research scientist Arthur Parks becomes a villainous living laser. Okay, I don't really describe what his powers are, but I guess it says it in like three other languages. Too. Um, here's a... And on, the on the back, he shoots lightning. I'm assuming, I guess, he shoots lasers or something. Um, he comes with the body, so I'm gonna say he's probably like the most important piece, because like I guess I always, I always think like the body is the most important piece, or the torso. Well, this body has the torso, so that's great. Oh, look at that too. He even comes with little lasers on his hands. Let's see if I can put those in. Look, he has like little drawn lasers on him, sort of. Or if you can see, yeah, that looks kind of fun. I mean, not saying I don't like him. But Cool. Also, it's one of those little figures like where the arms move like this. Yeah, I like him. Check him out. Uh, I'm absor um, I keep thinking he's the absorbing man, but he's not. I'm living laser. Uh, look at that. Like they paint some electrical stuff on him. I don't really know what his powers are. I mean, I guess he shoots lasers because it's called that. I like the design. Like he looks really cool. Um, he comes with Thanos' body. So that's a book. Let's, let's actually just take this out right now. Here's his body. I like it. I think I'm, I don't know which one I like more. The build figure or without the armor or the one with the armor. Comment down below which one you guys like more if you guys have the Infinity War build a figure. Do you like the one with the, the with the armor or without the armor? I mean I think both are cool, but what do you what do you guys decide? So um yeah. He oh right, wait. Also guys, it's not just don't throw the box out yet or if you guys have this, don't throw the box out. Like, I'm sure you guys noticed this, but it's not just that in the body. He also has these laser things. Sorry, it's, they're white like this paper, or like the light, so it's kind of hard to see. It looks like they're supposed to go on his fist. Because apparently it doesn't look like they can go anywhere else. So here they are. I don't exactly know what they're supposed to be. Hit, hit. Wait, no, that's not how you're supposed to. These things look a little breakable, too. I mean, they're not fragile, but I don't think they're made in the best design. Hmm, how do you... Oh, I think I get it. What the... What? Okay, I try to get it on as best I can. The one on the right, his right hand right here, so it does not stay on that well. Oh. And the left one's pretty good. Um, I mean, literally, watch this, like... I I've been. Doesn't look like I broke it. It just looks like it's sort of like maybe it's supposed, maybe it's just supposed to rest on his hand or something. Like I don't know. Maybe like this probably. It comes out very easily. 
How am I supposed to how am I supposed to go on like this? Maybe it is. <laughs> Bad book. I don't really know. What do you guys think? Personally I I don't know. I'm sorry, if you didn't hear that. I don't know. But yeah, I, I, I actually think this figure is really cool. I have to be honest with you guys. I like this guy. So, um, that, you're not going to believe this. That's actually the end of the builder figure, except for the last Rocky Creek thing. If you guys actually didn't know, so, um, we have Hercules, Nighthawk, Citizen B, Ronin, Hawkeye, and Ebony Ma, and the other guy, who doesn't come with a piece. Surprising, the, um, there's really, if you don't count the other guy, the other guy, the guy without the piece does come from the movie. So if we don't count him, I don't think we'll count him because he doesn't come with a piece. If we don't count him, there's really only like two guys from the movie. And there's actually four guys without. If we do count the three guys from the movie and four guys without. I think that's a bad thing, but they could have probably done a little bit differently. Here's the last one. Again, I encourage you guys to buy this. And if, I think if you love them in their spacesuits, you might have to buy this. Like, not forcibly, just might. It's Captain America in his space or whatever suit. Again, no spoilers on what the, on what the suits actually are. So, um, I like this one. He doesn't come with a piece, but you like the spy with the Spider Man six inch arms thing. I think you would definitely all you guys would definitely love to get this type of figure. He he looks very interesting. He the suits definitely made well. I know they have like a whole bunch of three inch ones. Just so you know, I don't own any three inch ones. Mostly because my dad told me these are gonna come the the other ones of these are gonna come around six inch. I don't know if that's true, but but then but that's never lied to me before, so yeah. I guess that's true. I mean, they make Captain America. Why wouldn't they make the other ones? If anyone, I'll buy a three-inch one to put make a video of that too. But trust me, the other, the other, uh, I, I like three other Avengers Endgame toys I want to show you guys. So there you go. But I want to start off with the most interesting thing first. Okay, so um, here it is. I hope you guys like it. Yeah. Oops. Like every Captain America, it has to come with a type of shield. This one looks like it's made from the same type of pieces of, of like another shield. But you can get like big side, little side, or something. So here he is, um, Captain America in the suit. I really, I really want the guys with the suits. So I can't wait till the six inch ones come out. He uh, has one with an arm and one with a fist. And look, his fist actually has a. I think that's a com. You know, like you know, like a fist com where you can you know, kiss people. Um, but yeah, yeah, it looks really interesting. This is the best I can get. You can't really, you can't really get it in on the uh, like the last one. This one, no offense to the others, but this figure might be my favorite, even though he has to come with a piece. If I decide, like, all six of these, or seven of these, six or seven, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven, I might like this guy the best. If I don't, then it's a tie between Ron and Ebony Ma. Like, if, I don't, if this guy doesn't count because he doesn't come with a piece, so I just count this guy, because I mean, he's still from the Builder figure line. They do that for Captain Marvel, King Pin, and this one, so I guess it's just like they do it more often. They don't really do it often. But yeah, you know, so yeah. But he looks very interesting. I like I like this one. So yeah, if you guys if you guys just want the uh, the bow figure pieces, you should get them. But I have no doubt you guys are gonna want this if you already have it. And also credit to you guys if you guys already got like the the figures. But personally, you know, I really think that um, you know, like a lot of this is very interesting. I mean, these these figures are, I think, really cool. You guys should tell me which figure is your favorite. Or, actually, I have, a, I have a challenge for you guys. Or something. Well, I, after, you, after you're done watching the video, don't do it now. After When you're done after watching the video, comment down below which type which type of Avengers toys you like the best. I'm pretty sure you guys will say the Builder figure, but it's your choice. You guys might say one of the other things. Maybe the third thing I'll say or something. But yeah. So, um, those are all the Builder figures. Or pieces. So let's, put, let's take out... Uh, so here's the pieces. So we have Hercules... Absorbing, or no, I keep saying Absorbing Man, La Living Laser, Ebony Maw, Captain America, with Ronin, 
He's going to go to the sword. I don't know how to get that on him. So there's a B. And, come on. And Nighthawk. So, um, the, those are all the figures. Let's take out the pieces. Here's Thanos' leg. Let's go down here. Thanos' other leg. Mm, yeah, that's the way I flipped. Sorry, I flipped the leg. Thanos' arm and weapon. Weapon looks pretty cool. I think it, uh, no, there's no, like, top where it goes in. Nah. Um, I like his weapon. It's like a thing I had disc or staff or like Robin's staff sort of. Except it doesn't go in on itself. So. Here's his other arm. There's Ronin's. Actually, I wanted to show you that first. What do you think? This is Ronin. This is Ronin's other hand. It's like his left hand. It shoots out ninja stars. You can actually see like the point where it shoots out. But that's like one of the first things. Like two of these ninja stars are sort of like combined. This one's not. I don't think it's supposed to happen. But yeah. I like it shows his first three fingers throwing them. It's like his first, like, three hands. I think that's probably one of the first times they did that with a guy's hand in a door shaker. Probably any. I might be wrong. Could be wrong. Here's his, um, this is his hand, which is basically the Infinity Gauntlet with all six Infinity Stones. Cool. Finally, here's the, ha here's the face. Um... Hercules, this is from Hercules. He has two different hands. Cool, and oh, come on. Um, sorry, I added you. There they both are. No! Don't worry, they're fine. Like indestructible almost. No, they're not actually indestructible, like, in, like something. Okay, oop, what am I doing? I almost forgot the head. I like his angry head, like the, the back of the. No! I keep dropping it. Join out the box. I meant to drop that. Here's the head. What do you think? I might have to pause this video and, you know, just go back and assemble the pieces. Because I don't, I'm not that good. But I'll try it. I mean, I'll try it. It don't look that hard to assemble. The legs are that easy thing where you just snap in, like, the pieces. The arms look a little tough. But, I'm, I mean, it doesn't look that tough. It's not like the big feet. Obviously, here's his body. Oh, man. He's going to look awesome when these pieces are done. So we have all the pieces. So let's put them together. That was me cracking my knuckles. Throw up line. So um, here we go. So this, this hand, like this big, this what, um, this leg right here is his right leg. You can sort of see, like you can sort of see it a little bit. Sorry, I'm talking fast too. I don't mean to. I just really want to get this guy together. That one, surprisingly easy. Here's his leg. Where's his right leg? Here's his left leg. <laughs> the left leg. Reminds me of two times a door episode. Here we go. Here we go. What do you guys think? Um, I like this one. So that's him and his, uh, that's his arm and his leg. Or his leg and his leg. Here's two arms. Let's put the... Which one is this again? This is the, this is the right one. I thought it was the Fairy Girl one was the right one. I guess not. The arm also surprisingly went on easy. The left leg didn't go on so easy, but the right one did. Let's put the weapon on. Actually, that'll be. Actually, uh, yeah, why not? Careful, I don't think the left one might come off a little easy. I don't like it when they come off easy. I'd rather them stay on forever. Here it is. Well, it actually stays on, too. Usually, sometimes the figures, the middle figures, they don't stay on that good. He's looking pretty good at first. I think I was, when I first heard about this figure, I was so excited to get him. They're, I think they're in stores right now, too, if you want to get the, oop. This wasn't going really well. I don't think the, I don't the left, the left, like, the left hand stuff.
Go in. Go in. Give me one second, please. Okay, so I got it on. My dad had to help me a little bit. Here it is. What do you think? Um, no offense to my other toys, but this might be my, my, my favorite thing of all. Okay, it's, this figure is my favorite of all of, of the entire Bulga figure. I'm sorry if you guys want to like do something that doesn't count, but this, if, this, if this one counts, it's my favorite, all right? I might like this one a little bit more than the other one, because I don't know why. He has, he has like, a lot more going on. I love it how he's just in his armor all the time. He was in his armor in the beginning of the war, but he just basically took it off. Endgame, endgame we, we go like the trailer, or so he, we see, see it all. So I guess we go. Well, I, already, I, I don't want to spoil anything. Not even the little thing, so yeah. We obviously, we all know, we all know he's gonna, they're going to fight. So yeah. Fire was cool, too. That can't, that's not a spoiler, right? No, it can't be. So, um, that's it for the little figure. Don't worry, the video's not done. We're also going to do other stuff. This, this video might be like an hour, like the Shazam was like an hour. But it's like in, this is really one you, I know you guys really want. I mean, it's already like been 25 minutes or 26 minutes now of just the build -a figure, so yeah. So yeah, that's basically the entire build -a figure. So yeah, we got Hercules, Laser, Living Laser, Ebony Maw, Captain America, Ronin, so, well, you know, the guys we got. I'll show you guys it. Hercules, Living Laser, Ebony Maw, Captain America, Ronin. No! Citizen V and Nighthawk. And Captain America is my favorite. Ronin might be second. And of course, the mad. or the. the dude that calls the entire end game, Thanos. Okay, so concludes build, that concludes Bullet Figure. Now, time for the other stuff. I don't know if you guys are gonna think this is more interesting or not than the bullet figures. I don't think the, I don't like I don't know if I I mean I like my all my toys. I don't know if, if I like them as much as the bullet figure, but hey, everything of every, of everything I have here is definitely one hundred percent worth noting. So yeah. So the next thing which is also I'm pretty sure something we all know probably more than the the bullet figure itself. Mind that's right, mind blown. So um um, it's actually the Funkos. Yeah. I don't have all the Funkos, like, I don't have Captain Marvel, I don't know why I just didn't want to get the Captain Marvel, because, like, the movie came out, I already got a lot of stuff with Captain Marvel, so, yeah. But I do have a, um, like, I have a big, oh, today, act. now, this is a funny story. So, if you guys remember the Captain Marvel video I made, it's the second video I made, just go to videos and look it up, because, like, I won't show you if you just press the down arrow again for some reason. I don't know why, I think YouTube installed that or something. But, um, so, earlier, like, a week, like, a week ago, my mom and dad, while I was at school, found this giant Thanos Funko Pop. They tried to order it. Like, they, they just, inst uh, they, or not order it, they, like, purchased it. But, well, they didn't actually purchase it. They tried to, but they couldn't. It was a whole thing where they couldn't, like, sell it or something. So, they actually, um, they just finished unpacking it, too, and they just saw, my mom just saw it there. So they decided to, there was like four of them too, so they picked one up, brought it to the counter, and guess what happened? If you guys watch Captain Marvel, take you, you know what happened. It wouldn't let them do it because it wasn't the right date. You probably forgot that or just didn't see the video, so please see that video if you want to hear the story. The craziest part is this is actually the fourth time I had no appearance. I forgot what second and third was. I don't think it was, dra it definitely wasn't the Dragon Ball characters. I was worried it would be because like, we bought like, I think, no, I don't think we bought the characters there. But yeah. And my mom and dad went back the next day when it actually was out, and it was sold out. But today we found it. That was like a week ago. And we found it. Now this is basically, I think, the biggest Funko I have. Last year I got, like, one I thought was the biggest, but next year, this year. This year I have the, uh, the big, probably one of the biggest ones. Probably the biggest Endgame one, too. They're basically, like, doing giant Funkos. Like, even giant Funkos. This one is basically of Thanos. So enough talking. But guys, comment down below if that ever happened to you. Like, it broke Target too. Comment down if that ever happened to you where Target or some other place just, like, wouldn't sell you a thing because it's not the day it's supposed to be sold at. Here it is. 
There it is. And I found it too, by the way. Well, my mom technically found it, but I thought I saw it first before I said anything. Here it is, though. So this 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 is the late early the latest thing I got today. I know it's giant. The camera can't even capture the full box. So I'm gonna open this. It's not. I'm not like a collector or anything where I just keep it in the box. I show it to you guys. Also, by the way, it's only a Target too. It's a Target exclusive, and this was the last one they had as well. So, I mean, I, I mean, the, I think the reason was because the box is a little dented. I don't care. I already take stuff out and play with it. I don't just keep it in a box forever. No offense to collectors or anything. I don't care about the box. I just care about the actual figure. Ooh. Oh, I forgot the impressive space ball. It's gonna take it out like this. Okay, so careful, it kinda falls out with this is supposed to like connect the panel, so these come off really easy. Like, they're not taped or anything. There's like a little parts here they're supposed to snap together. Like with these two, so they're supposed to like snap. So like these two. But they come off really easily. Also, there's a bobblehead. Every Marvel one's a bobblehead. I'll tell you if there's one that's not. The DC one, the other one, but Stranger Things is on. But one is. Here he is. The giant Thanos Funko Pop. That's a bobblehead. I don't know why Marvel, my dad's starting complaining like they do in bobbleheads, which I guess is technically a little bit annoying, but I don't know. I like it. Probably because it's more fun. I think the ones without um, bobbleheads aren't fun, but yeah. I like this one. Okay, this might be one of my favorite toys, too. I don't know if it's more better than the Build-A-Figure, but, like, I mean, what do you guys think? What's better, the Build-A-Figure or the Funko Pop? The, the Build-A-Figure definitely is shinier. It has, like, probably a lot more texture designs to it. But, I mean, both actually look the exact same. Plus, both have an angry face. Like, Thanos basically has, like, teeth, like, he's grinning or something. This one just looks like he's super angry, like he's about to fight. But what do you guys think? I like this one. Also, it comes with the Infinity Gauntlet. It also comes with the Stones and the Weapon. So, yeah, like, all the Thanos's today, or, like, all the toys of it just have, like, the whole entire armor suit on. So, yeah, like, for example, the helmet. You never saw him with the helmet on in Infinity War, except for the beginning. But now the action figures. Now I'm going to agree. Basically, wear the helmet, which is good. We saw in the trailers. Uh, but, yeah. This actually is my favorite Funko now. But the other ones are pretty good, too. But that actually ordered these all from Entertainment Earth. Um, I, I don't know. If, wait, hang on. Oops, no. I'm gonna check and see if these things are in here. I don't know where they are. Oh, good, they are in here. So, if you don't know, um, if you guys haven't bought the Endgame Funkos, like a Target or anything, don't. Not because they're bad, they're awesome. But if you guys order them at Entertainment Earth, you can get little card packs. And, like, you can get rare ones, common ones. I got some duplicates. I did get some duplicates, but I got, like, two rare ones. I even got Thanos rare. Um, but yeah, like, if you really want them, they're the same Funkos, there's nothing different about them, but, yeah. So, here they are. One I also didn't unbox, because I forgot, mostly, but I'll show it later. The other I didn't unbox, because I was too excited. I didn't know if you're making a video about all these. Hey, I did, but yeah. Okay, so, I actually wanted to start, let's start, let's start off with them. Um, so here they are. Here's the first one. Thor. What do you think? Now, I, kinda, I like this one personally. Like, they did a great job on the design. His hammer from, like, from Infinity War looks great. Or axe, mostly. With Thor's hand. Or not Thor's hand. Groot's hand. But he's got thing game now. And basically, like, I like his suit. Like, I got them all in the suit. The only one I did get is Captain Marvel. I, like, I even, got, I even got Nebula. So, yeah. My dad ordered them all for me. The only one move on Thor, really, is actually... This and the end game one. That's well, that's not Infinity War. Okay, this one's actually an exclusive. You can find this also a target with like this one also comes with a shirt, really, like extra large or large. But it comes with a funk, a glow in the dark Funko. I don't know how much light it needs, but I don't, I'm not really gonna show a glow in the dark section. So, what do you think? I mean, his armor suit looks a little different than the other ones, like it's more bluer than black. Or bluer than black because you can like this one looks a little, a little is sort of like black. This one's I don't really know me, it's blue. I wish I like more, but yeah, this one's exclusive, so you know, you know, like go ahead and get yourself it. Plus, it comes with like the radio column. So is Thor, both of them do. 
I like Sonic more though. I mean, they're the same, but like, yeah. The only one that's not in the space suit uh, is Ronin, but like he he has to come with his mask for some reason. So this is him without his mask. I still think he looks pretty cool. I like his arm. I like always like his black armor suit. This is what he actually done because he does come with a bow and arrow. Like there's his entire um uh, weapons. I like this one. Ronin looks really interesting. I never I never my dad ever owned the comics actually of like why. Ronin turned in, Hawkeye turned into Ronin. I think CBR, the another popular YouTube site, explained something about that. But uh, check them out if you guys want to like see that. Here's Nebula. Um, this was one of my favorites. I didn't think it would be one of my favorites. It actually, is so maybe I tell him is in the space suit from the trailer, and from the movie. And you know, like she is, she's really she looks really cool. The designs look best, like one of the best on her. I think the face is definitely super colorful. The suit's really not that color colorful. Like they're all just dark colors. But that's probably because the head's a little dark on them. But I will say the face. Oh yeah, like it was just like this. You can see a little color. Did I think it's grow? No, I didn't. So I think it's right camera close enough. But I didn't. Definitely did best like on the yellow part of this whole thing. And this robotic section of her, like the brain too, or whatever that is, definitely was one of the best best I've seen in Nebula Funko. I don't really have much of Nebula Funkos. I think it's just this one, but definitely one of the best I've seen. So yeah, Nebula is definitely a must get. Um, who else do we have? Who else do we have? Here's the next one. Here's Cap. Actually, let's not do this one first. I'll do this one first, actually. Here's Black Widow. No, it wasn't Captain America later. Um, Black Widow is the same one. I, I also like this one, too. For some reason... Actually, wait, is this on purpose or not on purpose? I don't think it's on purpose. I just noticed right now. I don't think it's on purpose. Tell me if you guys have the same thing or issue. But on the back of her ponytail, you can see it's all like brown, brown sort of yellowish. I think that's a mistake. Because you can kind of see like little brown things curving. I don't know if you can see that, but I can see it. And there's like a little tie there. It doesn't matter. It's just like a little problem. She has like little earrings on the side. See if you see the silver part of it. The other side doesn't. Like she has like her two bats or something. And like this one is definitely also one of my favorites. I like. I didn't expect this one to be one of my favorites too. So like Black Widow's like, Black Widow's pretty good in this too. All the characters are good, but yeah. Okay, now let's do Ant Man. Who doesn't like Ant-Man? Ant-Man also looks pretty good. Um, like, I'm glad they decided to add him in his helmet. Um, he definitely has a good suit. Body suit. Good space suit. Or what the suit really is. But yeah, you know, it definitely looks really good. Um, the next one I'm gonna do is of Cap of, of Captain America. I like Captain America because I don't know why I just sort of do. Um, I'm glad they have his helmet on. They have they have like a Hot Top exclusive where it just doesn't have his suit on. I was gonna get it, but I decided not to, mostly because I don't know. I like this one more. It looks a little shinier than this one, but hey, I don't buy him just because of the shininess. I buy him because it looks cool, and I, I think it'd be cool collectible too. But yeah, you know, this one's definitely, um, definitely is a, uh, a keep. All of them are keeps. Um, next one I'm going to do is of Thanos. That's right, the Thanos Funko. Other than that one. Now, this one's actually the same one, so this is the big glass. I think the arm's a little, like, not as extended as that other one. I can barely look at the big one with one hand. What do you think? Like, this, like, the, the left hand. So, it looks sort of like, I don't care I don't really can't really see it. Like, well, the, the right hand for your angle. The left hand for my angle. Also, Thanos' left hand. They're basically, oops, they're basically the same Funko, except that this one's a little smaller. I, I got this one first, obviously, before that one. So, yeah. I don't want to get the big one anyway. This one's also one of my favorite Funkos. Once again, like this is like the big one. They, they add so much texture and design to it. Everything I'm showing you guys, if you love Endgame, like me, is a must-get. So... I mean, I don't think you have to get them, but 
to be the luck month gift. So you should definitely get them. Also, I hope this video has proven helpful so like you guys know what to expect, what they look like, and everything else. I don't know how many people have done like golden figures or anything. The thing I'm gonna show you after this month might be one of the big surprising things too. I never check I never check online to see if anybody else posted. Like I'm not rival with anybody else. I'm just like saying like if anybody else posted any other videos of these. But what do you think? Again, like I said, I'm, I'm not a rival. Um, so what else to do? What was this one? Um, here's War Machine. Now, for some reason, this isn't, like, the War Machine in his, uh, suit for some reason. Th I really want to get this guy, but I don't care. He's just in regular suit. I think you might get him in a suit, but what do you think? He also has a little blaster here, I think. Yeah, definitely a blaster. I like this one, too. Like, War Machine's, like, I guess, like, another version of Iron Man, except he's, like, a different silver color and so grayish. It is like 900, maybe 9,000 on here. It has like the Captain America logo sort of on his foot. Definitely a good Funko with or without the space suit. I think they have some with with the space suit, so I'll try and get that. Also, like, I think it's also Captain America symbol, like from his original shield on here. But yeah, um, this one is definitely also great. You guys must like this one. I'm sure you guys like this one. At least I have one more. Can I have two more? Here's the next one. Now here is Hulk. Hmm, I guess that's supposed to be normal. Oh, there we go. There we go. I'll fix it. So like, um, so this is Hulk in his space suit. I like this one too. I think it looks really good. You can sort of see like his a little more Funko mold or whatever is on there. I like this one most. This, this costume really stands out here. I think it looks really cool. Like, I love Hulk, he's my favorite character in Marvel Universe, so, yeah. Not that I don't like any of the others, but, like, I like, I like this one. Definitely a big Funko Pop worth getting. Like, I think he's, I think he's equally sized with Thanos. Like, these type of Funkos are, yeah, like, oh yeah, uh, Thanos is, I think, actually, I think they're both equally matched. Thanos might be a little bigger, but I think because of Hulk's slick hair, hair on the back and the front, definitely looks better. But yeah, yeah, there's Hulk in the basket. <laughs> oh, I want to show you guys this too. Actually, let's show you guys this one first. Um, here's now this is actually a Funko Insider Club exclusive. I found this at GameStop. It's basically also Hulk in the armor suit, except he's a little different. I have no idea what he's wearing. It's some other weird suit. It popped off right out like pop and for the box. So here's Hulk, the exclusive Hulk. I never took out again, like I forgot, but I thought I guess it's always good to unbox as well. I mean, what do you think? He looks it looks really good. I'll admit that. Very cool. I might like this one more than the other one, because I don't know, I just like his suit. I, I don't really recognize the suit all that much actually. I don't really know where it's from. Maybe it was the same endgame I missed that had that suit. Maybe not. I don't even know. I mean, I like it. You should definitely get it. It's because you don't think of anything. I mean, it's a Funko Insider Club exclusive, so it's not like a Fi exclusive where you just go to Fi and uh, get it. If you still have a Fi in your neighborhood or somewhere. But yeah. Definitely, uh. Check that out. Sorry, I'm just putting the box in. This is also the, um, the outline, sort of. I mean, I just think it's really cool, all these Funkos. Oh, okay, we're going off like 44 minutes now. I'm not trying to keep you guys waiting. I know you guys want to see what, like, um, the next thing I actually have after this is also very surprising. Oh, also, I also have this in my box. This is just an Avengers Infinity War Funko Pop I got for my birthday. Um, it's, it's nothing special, you know, you know, this one? I forgot to open it until, like, when I got my Endgame Funkos. Not, like, not like I don't appreciate it. I like this one. I really want to get this type of Funko Pop. Um, this one, like, so, like, from Infinity War, as you can see, that Hulk doesn't look, I mean, Thanos looks way different than the way he looks in Endgame. Like, that Thanos is kind of different. I like that Thanos, but it's pretty cool. Like, the, you know, the new Thanos has the armor and stuff. I'm kind of holding Thanos right now. 
I don't know which one's better, personally. Obviously, like, that one has more of a... This, the original thing almost has, like, more of a smug look on its face, while the new one has more of an angry, so, like, intimidating look. And what do you guys think? Smug look. Intimidating look. I like the intimidating look more, personally. But anyway, the like smug scares me, but yeah. Comment down below also, or please comment down below too, like which one do you like more, the Infinity War Thanos Smuggle Pop or the Endgame Thanos Smuggle Pop? And yes, you are allowed to say the big one. So I also want, before I show you the third thing, I want to show you guys this. This is exclusive also, like I said, for the, um, for Entertainment Earth, I think, yeah. So apparently if you guys order the Funkos, you can get these little Entertainment Earth Funko Card exclusives. These are of, these, these are collectible cards, so like, any, I guess in, if you guys want like, if you guys already bought smuggles, just want to rebuy the ones just to get the cards. That's fine. They might sell these online. I never checked. They have these. They have Toy Star, Captain America, Hulk, Thor, Thanos, Black Widow, Ant Man, Nebula, Hawkeye, War Machine, Captain Marvel, Toy Star, Foil, Captain America, Foil, Hulk, Foil, um, Thor. Well, the Foil actually means like it's a rarer version, like it's more shiny and it has like almost a rainbow on it, sort of. Thor Foil and Thanos Foil. Each comes with three as well. It's three pieces. I'll show you each. This one comes with, uh, it's like here's Hawkeye, Captain Marvel, and Thanos. Right on the back, just shows Avengers. But yeah, okay. Um, yeah. Well, I'll show you guys these individually. I'll cut the, I'll cut the, uh, well, you know, the, um, duplicates, but. Especially if I find foils, because I know I got, like, one or two foils in here. Also, by the way, these are like, you know, like, these aren't official, I mean, these are just randomly placed. You can't, you can't be sure what you get. Like, for example, you can get, like, all of them. So, like, here, like, here, um, here's a foil Thanos. I don't know the, I don't know if you can see it from my camera, but, like, you look, he looks a little more, that's not, that's not a camera view or anything. That's basically his foil. Here's Black Widow. And here's, uh, Ant-Man. I know they're just cars and all, but I thought you guys would like to see these. So yeah, please, you guys should definitely get the cards. Next one. This is an, you know, like another Ant-Man, a Tony Stark, and Captain America. Obviously, I don't have them all. I don't think I have. I mean, I got like, I did get mostly new ones. Like, I got like maybe a couple, like three or four duplicates in some of the sets, but... I got like six months ago, too, so like. Here's Nebula, another Ant Man, and a Hulk. So, as you guys may be able to tell, these are, uh. I mean, they are collectors, so uh, I'm hoping you guys are gonna buy these. Another Hulk. A foil Captain America. What do you think? And another Tony Stark. So, I was like, what I'm saying, he literally gave me, like. Two duplicates and one rare. I mean, this one would work out okay because you know, I mean, it's a foil. Who wouldn't want a foil? Foil are more, but yeah. Th foil Thanos would be like the best one, I think, or in my opinion. But as you guys may be able to tell, I mean, they all look very interesting. I think they're all really cool. Here's the last one. There's another Black Widow, a foil Hulk. And also a uh, another Captain America. So yeah, like we got, I guess I can show you. I mean, like three different Captain Americas. Once again, like two duplicates, one big foil. That's interesting. But yeah, like I don't know how many guys know actually know about these. You might not even know about them at all. So, but I told you about these. I think, yeah. So yeah, like I hope you guys just. Uh, I hope you decide to get these too. Like I hope you guys just decide to uh just to buy these. Obviously as you may tell, um these are I guess you could say I guess you could say these are like rare cards. I wouldn't really I wouldn't call these rare just saying so you no, know, I mean they're just they're just cards, but I'm sure they might go maybe like a hundred dollars or so on. Ebay, Amazon, no problem with this, but like, yeah, I'm not gonna sell them or anything either, so yeah. Okay, so this is, um, here's the next thing. Now, 
This is actually, you guys might like this just as much as the build a figure. No offense to both of you. Um, and the Funko Street. So, um, the, as you guys can also tell, now McDonald's is currently selling, um, um, Happy Meals with Avengers Endgame toys. I, I, I always like to get Happy Meals, because I always love the fries and the chicken nuggets and stuff, and, like, the little toys come inside. I'm maybe a little too old, but I still like them anyway. So, um, I, um, I actually, in these boxes, I actually have them all. But I had to reward them all for me. Don't consider that cheating. Like, I actually did get some. The ones that are, like, out, I have, like, the ones, but the ones, like, in the packaging, I don't. If you didn't know, I want to tell you guys, there's, like, 12 ra regulars, 2 super rares, and 10 other ones that come with the suits. The regular ones come in, like, silver stands, like, sort of like this. The rare ones come in bigger stands, like this. And the two other also come in, like, gold stands, and Thanos also comes in, like, a black one. So, yeah. So let me show you guys them now in the duplicates. So let's show you guys the first the first ones I got, which are four. They're all new. So the first one I got is Captain America. It also if you like you press the back of this, you can press this. And you can have interesting. Here's uh here's Captain Marvel, the first one I ever got. Ever since the Mega Force Bone figure was like a couple of years ago, the other ones I've been the only ones I don't know my favorites, but these are my favorites now. Like, mm. Now, if these are actually different, these these suits. Uh, on the back, you can sort of see like a switch, which is what I'm doing right now. If you pull a switch, this is what happens. It, the suit lights up, the blue parts of it. Is that, so, is that interesting? Once again, my like, here's Hulk. Also, got, also, my dad didn't just get random ones in a, bo in a box, too. He actually got one of each. Counting, yes, these, but, like, yeah. Also, if you guys didn't know, hang on. You can even connect these two. Like, say you want to connect Captain Marvel and Thor. Watch. Go off really easily, too, but, yeah. Okay, now time for the... Okay, enough with the duplicates. Now it's actually time for the new ones. Well, sort of enough with the duplicates. I might show the other ones as well that are in the packaging, but mostly new ones. There are mostly new ones in here. So, first thing we're going to do is, a, is the Rare Nebula. Also, these are like all from the McDonald's like bags, too. I don't even know if every, everybody, other than the guy my dad bought this from, has all these. You know where that bought from? Right? Where is it? So here's Nebula with the suit. Once again, like I said, it's the same thing as usual, but I'm going to show you guys anyway. I was like surprised too when I saw these. I was surprised they had like another 10. This was like the most also they have. Like usually they just have like 6 guys. They have like 24 here. Uh, who else have? Oh yeah, also I got these too. These are little card game punch out. For commons, or like the ones that are not rare, you can get these. And for like you like the Hulk I got McDonald's, you get stuff like the like this. Rare ones like this. They're like little key cards. Yeah, I don't know what they do, like they have McDonald's games, I don't really play those games. Uh, let's get let's open up some more guys. Uh how about Okay this one. You guys might think this is Tony Stark. I thought it was like Iron Man without the super they were Iron Man. This is actually Ronin with his suit. Here it is. Ronin with this suit. I mean, personally, I love all these. I just think, like, seeing these are really fun. Oh, yeah, time for the next time. I'm just about to back soon. I don't have much space, and these are going to take up a lot. Next one I'm gonna do is a uh, this one Ant Man. Actually, wait, no, let's do the other one first. This one, do I'll show you that one? War Machine with the suit. Here it is, War Machine. 
I like this one too personally. Sorry if you can't really, if you can barely see it. I'm kind of sitting far a little bit. But yeah, let me know if I can see it from this distance. I'm glad the camera can also like show you guys these too. But yeah, I like War Machine. Like he's more of a bit, he's a bit more of armor than the other ones. But like, I mean, I like the suits. I know I'm sort of showing show you guys the one with the suits and more. But yeah, definitely a pretty good number. Uh, who else? Who else? I might do Thanos last or something. No, actually, I'll, I'll do the two rarest ones last. Because I even I, I even have those. Here's the next one. This one's a common one. Here's um Iron Man. Who just is, does this. Which is the same one Captain Marvel does. But yeah, like, here's Iron Man. I like Iron Man's design. His mask doesn't come off. It might look like it comes off. But, but yeah. It's, like, it's, like, it's not like the wrong guy, wrong guy or something where it just it lights up. But you guys are jealous too that I got all these. I'm not trying to brag, but yeah. I mean, I would get like two personally as well, like if you guys really want stuff like this. Um, here's regular War Machine. Ooh, this one's actually kind of special too. I mean, no, I'm not saying the other ones are special, but it's like a different sort of thing. But watch this. They like use wings on the back of them. Watch this. But yeah, this actually might be the biggest review I've done yet because like it's multiple toys of the same type of movie set or not set, but like movie. So yeah, um, War Machine. Definitely a buy. Okay, gotta put the, I gotta put some of these away. Don't worry, like, I don't mean, like, in storage. I just mean, like... Actually, maybe not. Maybe they're, maybe they're safe. I don't really think so. I'll do a bit more, then I'll do it. Here's Ronin. Okay, maybe two more. I don't even care about the bag either. Ronin, he does this. Look at how he does this. Both of it do like a sword, and the movie does it too. But like here's Ronin. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. Definitely awesome. Like I don't know why anybody wears the mask. Like, I think the, if he wears a space suit, he doesn't wear the mask. So I guess that makes sense. I sort of ripped the bag too a little bit. Uh, why well, don't I show you a bag? Show the bag. No point in the bag. Well, yeah, Ronin. All these seem to be perfect tens in my book. Or perfect tens. Here's a. Uh, here's regular Nebula. If you guys want to see this one. This does actually is funny. So many punches to have. Um, but yeah, like ne I mean, Nebula looks really cool. Also, she has like wears different suit. Like she wear she has like a silver red suit instead of the one I showed you with the uh, suit. Yeah, but uh, this one's cool too. Okay, I gotta put some of these some of this stuff back. Uh, Too many bags. Don't worry, I can still get these. Let's do another one. Here's Ant Man with the suit. Um, obviously we haven't reviewed the regular Ant Man yet, but he's Ant Man with the suit. Unfortunately, the camera can't move so much. I could probably show like a huge line of every figure. But yeah, you know, I'm glad I'm showing you guys these individually. Maybe a little boring, but hey, I'm sure you guys like to see every possible one. Don't worry, guys, I have one more thing after this, but it's gonna be super short. Probably the shortest one out of all of these. I hope I've been like a, uh, doing this for like an hour now, so sorry, but yeah. Next one is going to be regular Ant Man. Which basically is the same thing as Captain Marvel and Iron Man. Oh, yeah, I also forgot, I have to show you guys what the. 
Hey man, I'm gonna shoot that. So it's basically like the same thing, but like I mean, I'm glad you guys could see this. Here's regular Captain America. Actually, let's do another one first. Because I want to see him for another one. Oh, wait. Here's, um... Here's, a uh, Iron Man space suit. Or suit. Here, here's Iron Man with the suit. I like this one. This one seems pretty cool. Sorry, I'm holding his face. I just want to, like, press the button. But yeah, like definitely, I like this one a little cool too. Like you still have the same type of cool face, just like with a different sort of armor suit on. People who make the people who make the McDonald's toys, or I don't know if I can, people who make these really do a great job. You really have to like push the button down in to uh, do it. Who next? Right, you should be one of the last ones. Actually, let's do her first. Here's Black Widow with a suit. But yeah, I mean, this, this, one, this one's definitely good. Yeah, you know, it looks really the thing. Really like it. Definitely a good one to get. Here's the, uh... Once again, here's Captain Marvel. I already, already showed this one. Does this. Same one from does this. Here's Captain America in the spacesuit. Actually, wait, let's do Thor in the spacesuit first. Yes, he sort of like shoots down with the hammer. Stormbreaker, yeah. Okay, here's Captain America in the spacesuit. I like this one too. I don't know what that guy was. I don't know what that was. If you can hear it upstairs. Um, awesome. I really think, you know, uh, these are, these, this one's pretty cool. I'm not watching this off. I'm going to waste the battery. Who else is in here? Right? He's really, because they were getting down to the last few. There's just some bags. No one's in here. Wait. Oh, that's right. We have to review her. Um, here's another Hulk. Come on. Hulk! On! We already did Hulk, I think, but... You know, I love Hulk. Sorry, just like I'll just look at it. Yeah, I didn't really like Hulk. Here's Captain America. Actually, wait. Let's do let's do Black Widow. Uh, let's try her out. We already did Captain America. Here's Black Widow. But she's also very interesting. Look, she like wear it as a weapon. She sort of like spins her weapon around a little bit. Here's another Captain America. I don't know why we need more. I don't know why. Oh, I guess we still show it. This is pretty good. Uh, let's see here. I think I've opened them all from all. Oh, so I still have to open. I like this one. Here's another one. Here's regular Hulk. As you know, we already did regular Captain America. Regular Hulk. 
You don't need to like, just smash it down on stuff. This one seems to be in a pretty good design. What do I still have to do? Um, most of these are just bags and Here's uh, Thor in his spacesuit. I haven't been counting how many we've been doing, so like, I don't really know. I'm just trying to find all the ones I have to do. I guess I said the Thanos from the Bear too, but here's the th I'm not Thanos. Sorry, I meant I said Thanos. But this is Thor with the spacesuit. I like this one. Once again, like we did a duplicate Thor of this one, but here he is. But yeah, definitely. And these are all interesting too. Like I'm so glad I got all these. If you, guys, if you guys want to try and st uh, get some of these, you can either probably order them offline or just get them all online. Personally, I think if you want them all, just get them all offline. Here's Rocket Raccoon. It's also sort of interesting. He's like swinging a grapple hook. I still got him. Oh, I was worried they didn't make one of these, but they did. For sure. <laughs> Rocket Raccoon in a space suit. Um, interesting. I saw, like, the other... I shouldn't have that many left now. Oh, yeah, Rocket Raccoon space suit. Yay! <laughs> he, looks, he looks cool, too. I'm actually almost done. There's three more characters left. Let's count Thanos and the other two rare ones. Don't worry, they're all in here. I just need to find them. The two rare ones are gonna be last. So here's uh here's Thanos. Now Thanos basically no I know that like I basically opened them all except Thanos and the other two. The other two is like the most rarest of them all. Like they're more rare than the other ones. So yeah, here's Thanos. He also has like sort of black uh, black widow's attack. Like he has the same weapon. So he, he got he comes like on a stone bridge or something because he like he's the, he's like the only villain one they have. They don't have like his minions or anything. That's the Fortnite nice one. Not saying they're in the movie or not. You guys just have to watch and see. But yeah, you know, like, this one looks pretty good. Like, he's in, he doesn't have different colors. He's full on yellow suit of armor. I'm, I'm not complaining, though. So, yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite ones of these all. Of the, of all these. Who are the last two I have to do? Right. This one, the other one. Okay, so here are the last two. Or is I think the last two? Last two, as you can tell, are the ones that basically don't appear on the, uh, on the, um, screen. Like we said, there are two legendary ones while I have those. Oh, never mind. Those two are actually common, common ones, common things as well. Here's the first one. Got the first real big legendary one. Also, by the way, if you don't want spoiler to see, um, to see who these are, you probably already saw the first one, but yeah. Um, if you want to see who these guys are or not, then leave the video or probably skip to where the last part is. But you will see them who they are. Here's the first one, it's Groot. I mean, I'm sorry if I already saw this before I said this, that. With the video game, I know, like, yeah. he still, like, just bows, bows his head. He looks really interesting. I'm glad I bought him. Like, once again, like, they sort of just combine with other ones. Like, here's Hulk. I'm sorry. Go, 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 it's fine. I just want to bang your heads a little bit. Here's the last one. Here's the last one. I think it's the last, last one. It's the last one. Black Panther. Alright. He looks, he looks awesome. Also, these two don't come in space suits either. Or else probably ruin the whole purpose of them being rare. 
Also, like the honesty from the movie either. So yeah, like. But yeah, here's Black Panther. Obviously, these two probably might go. I'm just saying people who actually do find these probably buy high prices for them online. But yeah, this is the last big one, sort of. Or like the last one I have all together. Also, now it's the biggest in a whole bunch of bags. But yeah, I have to admit, I love all these. I'm glad I opened them all. I'm glad I shared them all with you guys. I'm sure, I know it's been like an hour now, an hour and nine minutes now, but hey. Or at least when, like, at least when the camera says, I think it's like an hour and ten minutes or something. I hope you guys really like these. The video's not over yet. It's almost over. Don't worry. It's just not yet. I haven't do like hour long videos now, sort of, but like, don't worry. There'll be some short ones too. Also, by the way, I'll do more gaming videos. Like, I saw Jump Force video two almost posted. I know it's been like m a month or something since I first posted Jump Force video one. Probably two months. But don't worry, I will post next one. I promise. Might even be next one. Okay, so that's all the uh, figures for McDonald's. There's only one more thing I want to share with you guys. Now these are also I don't know these probably might be the least interesting. Maybe not least interesting, but they're pretty interesting to me. So um, if you guys you see me like go in movies now. They sometimes I sell you cake toppers, which is sell for cakes. Sometimes you might sell them maybe like a, a slushie or something. So I hope you guys like the like these. Like they did um so for like back in Infinity War they did stuff like this. Like here's Hulk. This is actually the first time I really realized about cake toppers. They had like five of these. I only got Hulk though. I tried to get the others, but they were sold out. They also had like some for Rick and Ralph, I only got the novelty. They have some for Avengers Endgame now. I also have to grab some for Godzilla as well. Here are the two I got so far for Endgame. War Machine and Thanos. I got them the same day when I went to Deep Past Cemetery. Um, so they have, they actually have way more of the Endgame ones than the uh, Infinity ones. But like these are two I got so far. Like I don't think all, they, all of them sell these. Like they sell sometimes they like some other stuff. But like here are these. These are the last one of the things I want to show you guys. But yeah, I think I got the most figure of the kick the same day. I don't really know. But yeah, you know, um, I just want to show you guys that. And uh, sorry, I, I'm just kind of tired. Uh, and that's it. That's actually it, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So that's all the uh, end game stuff I have. If I, if I miss anything, I'll show you guys. I'll give me like more cake toppers or something. Thank you for participating, or like just like participating in the video, or just like watching the video, and participate. No offense, you guys. I mean. Well, do you like view the video? It's good. Probably, also, probably like and subscribe. So, uh, thank you for watching, guys. I hope all of this boot helped you guys. Like I said, I saw in game. It was exciting. It was, it's already been. My camera says it's, hour tw it's been like an hour, twelve minutes, thirteen seconds. Probably an hour, thirteen minutes, because I think I record one more thing than one more minute. Dad, then I record this. So yeah. Thank you for viewing these. Vi this video, not this. These, this. Thank you for recording this video. Now I'm probably gonna go eat dinner now or something. Sorry, sorry, I've been, sorry, I've been like recording for like the past two weeks instead of one week. That should change hopefully, maybe never. Or something. I hope it does. I mean, it's my choice really, but yeah. I really want to post. I really want to wait till I got maybe like the the McDonald's stories because I knew they were coming like five days before they actually came. Also, I got this today. I was expecting to get this today, but I thought I should put it in the video anyway. So yeah, that's all I want to say. And please like, please feel free to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Maybe even share this with a friend or comment down below. Like. I'm sure I said a comment or two, I think, before. I don't remember. Like, which channel think is better or something. Or, like, something else or something. But, yeah. Actually, one more thing. Please, you, you guys can decide what to comment down below, but I actually would like you guys to comment down this below if you guys want. What would you guys like best? The bullet figure, the Funkos, the McDonald's toys, or the cake toppers? Again. Bullet figure, Funkos, McDonald's toys, or the awesome cake toppers? Personally, me, I don't know. I kind of like the. It might be a tie between the bullet figures and the McDonald's toys. Like I like the Funkos and all, but these are anywhere really. Cake toppers are also pretty interesting. But yeah, that's all I want to say, and that's it. So I hope to see you guys later. Also, like I'll post more big gaming videos. Probably I'll, I do have like two more bullet figures I want to show you guys, maybe three or so. But that's all I say. So everyone, thank you for watching. Next video might be like a more, another Fortnite video. So see you guys later. I feel like my new opinion is bye.